treasure hunting day here at the channel and I came back with a few treasures. Join me as I go to a new to me flea market, Leesport Flea Market in Pennsylvania, as I dig through boxes and see, see what goodies I found. prices are. Yeah. 
fun stuff to dig through. So I seem to be having some luck with flight memorabilia. I just picked up this nice scrapbook. It's mostly from the 1930s. It's 1938. Someone's drawing, a little kid's drawing. There's a letter from the National Air Races in Cleveland. This nice booklet. But the man said this was the only old thing that he brought today. He found it in a barn and it was a total of ten dollars so this i think is a pretty pretty neat find oh there's a whole bunch of scrap paper in there so that was a good deal for ten dollars might be my best purchase of the day So yes, a new to me flea market. I have never been to this flea market before. It, it was pretty fun. Um, got there at a good time. Vendors were set up, vendors were setting up, vendors were still setting up as I left. So it was, it was really neat to walk around and see everything that people had to offer. There was a mixture between new and old tables that were all nicely laid out and then there were plenty of opportunities for me to dig in boxes which is what i really love so what did i purchase probably my best find that i did not get on camera it's funny it is aviation themed another aviation scrapbook like the one i purchased a couple of weeks ago um yeah right here this was at a table where it was mostly all new, all new things. I really didn't see anything that old. So I was looking through it and I'm like, this is pretty cool. Similar to the scrapbook that I found um, maybe a week or two ago. It's all newspaper clippings, but this one is focused mostly on, oh geez, the 1930s. There's also this nice, it must've been from a book. 
but it has all sorts of great illustrations of all these different kinds of planes. The colors are just so bright and vivid. So, you know, I'm sifting through it. I'm thinking, oh, what is this guy going to want for this? Oh, geez, all the brown bits are flying everywhere. Um, and so, oh, there's a Zeppelin for Lakers. We know what happened with that, the Hindenburg. So I asked how much he wanted, and he's like, well, he's like, that's probably, you know, it's, that's the oldest thing I have here. I got it out of the of a farmhouse or the attic of a farmhouse or a barn. How about $10? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I seem to have a knack for finding aviation scrapbook-related scrapbooks. This is the second one I found, so who knows what the third one will be. Perhaps the third one will be, ooh, maybe I'll have photos <gasps> or real photo postcards of old planes and pilots. That would be amazing. So I picked that up. That was a great find. Then there was the one man that had all sorts of boxes to dig through, and that was really fun. I don't think he went through anything. You had to move stuff, really, really dig. So it was there that I purchased the, there's a baggie of all little books. A lot of them were how to draw books or connect the dot books. I bought that. We got this little red riding hood book. It's in, they cut out, so they cut out the little red riding hood, but really nice illustrations. You have grandma and the wolf. I got that from him, the little bag of stuff. And then I picked up some random things. This is a match box. It's a match box. The match is inside. But it says um, beauties. So century beauties. Average 159 safety matches made in Italy. So just a nice container that I thought could be repurposed for something else. We got that. We got this box. It is uh, M. Mala, Mala Shrino. Not saying that correctly. It is a Egyptian, Egyptian cigarette box. Cute box, but inside there are these numbers and letters that are all cut. Picked that up too. And then... I picked up two scissors. I, I don't know why. I just really like the look to them, the lines and the, the wear. I thought they just had a really nice shape. That one's kind of cute. It has the, the lines in there. So the scissors, the red riding hood, the two little boxes, and then the bag of paper, it was all $10, so that was pretty good. So I'm at $20 so far. What else did I buy? Oh, there was another man that had some really, really great things. His prices were, I guess they were decent for what he was selling. He had a purple heart for sale for $75, <laughs> but I immediately was drawn to, naturally, the albums and then, there were two boxes of post, two flats of postcards and real photo postcards. It looked like they had not gone through the cards. You know, they hadn't been sorted. So there are some, this one was pretty cool. It's a guy playing cards, but it's, it's him with several images of himself. Wilson and Graham. Birmingham, Alabama. So you have those, you know, your, your typical cards that you have. This is of Bot Brothers in Columbus, Ohio. Another real photo postcard. So these will be a lot to sort through because it is a whole bag of cards. Some of these, again, are common, others, Perhaps not. We have an Easter card. There were some Christmas in here that I saw. I did not see any 
Halloween that I know of. But again, I didn't look through every card, so who knows what might be in there. That'd be pretty cool if there were Halloween cards. Here's some military men. So we got that. And then I also purchased from him the album, which did not contain photographs, but instead, oh, it does. It is a wedding album. I don't believe they were married. <laughs> they look like brother and sister. So yes, we have some wedding cards, really, really nice shape. So yeah, it's a whole wedding album. That one's cute. You can see we have some cards in there. So great album. I got these all for a great price. Um, in my mind, I thought it was good, especially for the postcards because they were unsorted. There were some other paper vendors there, but those I try and stay away from because they do have everything sorted. And the odds of me being able to say, what do you want for this whole box and coming away with a decent price is slim to none. Uh, that just doesn't work that way. You're better off if you're looking to buy paper, going to the people that, in my point of view, don't specialize in paper because chances are they looked up, they've looked up everything. And so the odds of getting a good bundle deal are slim. At least in my experience, that is. You could have a totally different experience. You know, your paper people that you buy from could be the best paper people, paper people, um, that, that you know of. So it all depends on your area and your connections and what you're willing to pay. Then they also had the farmer's market section with fresh fruits and vegetables. I was able to stay away from the baked goods part, but I would love to go back there again in the fall when there are more of the, um, you know, the fall decor with the pumpkins and all of the, the pumpkin baked goods. I think that'd be, that'd be really yummy. <laughs> so I would, I will definitely go back to the flea market. It was a really good mixture. Prices for what I like to purchase were decent. And it was fun. You know, there, there were many vendors that had the little boxes to rummage through and those are my favorite. So I would definitely go back there again. But it was a nice break from my normal flea market and it was great to see what other markets have to offer because you, were never, you never know what you're going to find. So I hope you enjoyed this new flea market adventure. I also met a viewer there. His name, I wrote it down, John and his dad who both watched the channel. So hello, it was nice chatting with you. Hope that you did well with the items that you were selling today and thanks for saying hello. But yeah, great flea market, fun to go to. We'll be back. Now I have a lot of postcard sorting to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to hit that little like button and let me know if you've ever been to this flea market and your experience with it as well. It's always fun to hear what other people have found at the markets that I go to. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.